Many times when you board a passenger service vehicle, you neither bother checking which exact van you have boarded nor who is inside, yet this is so crucial to your personal security. These vehicles operate in designated parks and stages, while some work on random routes picking passengers. Now police at Katwe, one of the crime hotspots in Kampala, say there is a rise in thefts and robberies conducted in these passenger service vehicles. So very many people always follow pre of this. They can bring a taxi, um, place people as passengers. In such taxis you may find three to four people, but they are spaced in the taxis. This van is one of the exhibits of such theft. It was impounded by police after its occupants attempted to rob a passenger of his dollars. On making an alarm, passers-by came to the rescue of the victim and the culprits made off abandoning the car. So at the end of the day, they, when you look at their fares are a little lower compared to the money charged for the same distance in the taxi park. So people prefer paying less, but they don't look at their safety. So when they board such vehicles, before they reach their final destination, they are either diverted and robbed or they can easily be robbed from the vehicle and later they are pushed out. Victims have described to police the most common tactics these thugs use to rob people of their valuables. We have tried to reconstruct the scene to show how these robberies are done. A passenger service vehicle which is in many circumstances hired operates on a route of its choice, like any other, calling for passengers. Oblivious of what the motive of the occupants are, a passenger is lured into boarding it. The taxi tout often tricks the passenger into believing that he or she will pay less than the usual fare to convince him or her to board. Inside the vehicle, the thugs act like passengers each one of them minding their own business, seated in a spacious manner that it is totally hard for you to tell that they are not right people. To avoid any suspicion, they pick some of their colleagues they earlier staged by the roadside to make you believe you are safe. Wherever you sit is not their business. The driver's role is to make sure the vehicle moves forward. However, before you can alight, if they have failed to rob you while on the road where there are many people, they will divert to a feeder road where there are not many people. The excuse they will give is either because of traffic jam or police officers on the road. In the middle of nowhere, they start searching for your valuables like phones and money. This could be done peacefully, but if you try to resist, they use force. You could scream your heart out, but because the car is often speeding, your call for help is but in vain. After taking all the fine valuable, they'll make a stop and throw you out of the vehicle. Woe unto you if you try to resist. Police say majority of these robberies are committed on highways during the late hours, but also early mornings. They, however, say during this festive season, many are expected to be committed during broad daylight. Let's follow the guidelines, let's go and only body vehicles in designated parking, yeah, uh, uh, taxi parks. For somebody to body from a, a gazetted place, there are new picking vehicles that just drive anyhow on the road. Gachu to Musime with Kwari, NTV.